Oh shit. Get out! Oh, Jack, 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 get out! Jack, buddy! Oh Jesus. You guys don't want to do this. Jack. Jack! It's a good one, right? That's horrible. Hi guys, and welcome back to Criminal Content. My name is Kobe, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can stay up to date and follow Criminal Content on Instagram over at criminal.content, and you can follow me personally if you'd like to on Instagram at Kobe Connell. So I will see you guys over there. I have just recently finished watching all of the Rocky movies for Popcorn Roulette over on our sister channel, and I was getting a lot of comments on there saying that I should watch the movie Copland. Now, Copland is one of those ones that, again, the title is familiar. I remember, I, I, I vaguely, maybe the 90s? I kind of remember hearing it. I know I never saw it. I probably should have. It sounds like it's gonna be up my alley uh, if people were saying it on the uh, on the Stallone, on the Rockies, which I ended up loving. So I don't know if Stallone is in this. I, I think that's the connect, um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out now. So for the full watch along, head over to our Patreon. And with that, let's get into Copland. Miramax. Okay. All right, so I know nothing. I'm going in incredibly blind. I just know that everybody was recommending it. Like I said, I watched Rocky for Pop Back and Roulette. Back in the 70s, every cop wanted out of the city. De Niro's voice. But the only cops allowed to live outside New York were transit cops. Hi! Because the transit authority was also run by Jersey and Connecticut. So these guys I knew at the 3-7, they started pulling overtime at subway stations and got the city to declare them auxiliary transit cops. They bought some land in Jersey, got some cheap loans from people they knew. They made themselves a place where the shit couldn't touch them. I'm so in already. That man's voice. You just know it immediately. Every precinct has its cop bar, a private club, all blue, no civilians. For the 3-7, there was the four aces just across the river. New Jersey. Straight into it. Okay, yeah, like I said, going in blind, but now I know they it's hired De Niro. this local hero to be their sheriff. A wannabe who couldn't get on the force on account of his bad ear. So this Armenian guy? He's from the other side over there? Hey, Edie Falco! She's gonna be dead by morning. Right. So he drops this box off at a place, right? I'm gonna call you guys, call box. Right. Oh. We go in there, we x-ray it on scene, and uh, we can't see anything in there. Right. So. Uh, okay, cast so far. I gotta go home, baby. Wait, I'm just waiting on the call, okay? No, Come no, here. No, no, no. Sit down. It's Ray Liotta and De Niro, and I've never seen it. I, I don't know how that happens. It's quiet. Everyone's at that bachelor party across the river. Hey, Figsy, you got any quarters? Hey, hey, how you doing? Sorry, pretty. Four aces, where else? <laughs> Shit. What's it? Oh, because he's the sheriff. You all right to drive? He's all right to drive. Take it easy, Freddy. Can barely walk, let alone drive. The cops, the 30-year-old native of the Caribbean island of Antigua, was captured in a casino oh my just gosh. days after an aspiring rap artist was fatally beaten in a Queens convenience store. Sources have filled in some of the blanks for Ted. Look straight ahead. <laughs> Back in what year is this? 90s, 90 something, I think. Everybody's just getting into their cars to drive wasted. Is he throwing up or is he shot and hurt? Frankie? Mm. You all right, Jackie? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, kid. Be careful driving, huh? Yeah, I thought it sounded like throwing up, not not injured. Everybody's so drunk. <laughs> he didn't even veer. The red car completely came and sideswiped him. Hey, you hear me? Pull over! No. Shit. 
They knew he was a cop. They don't even care. This is just bad. Oh, they died? Hey! Yeah, I see him. Harvey Keitel, but also all those other guys' faces look really familiar too, like all three of those other cops. Tony didn't even get the grand jury for shit like this. The GJ, your super boy. I got PA on another channel, the mayor's office, assistant DA, press up the yin yang. The only... Is he the bad Terminator? I yeah, heard a shot, Ray. Right? In my trunk shot. in the Grand it's Union back. I heard a shot, Leo. Listen the kid up. had a steering wheel lock in his hand. Your tire blew. Wasting a pair of shit bags who aren't worth the hair in the crack of your ass, so you cool it with the patty cake. Oh my morality. god, it was a steering lock? Those kids will put you in a room where you will f your uncle and everything he's built. That thing's gonna be here in a minute, and I haven't done shit. And what I'm doing is highly sympathetic. <sighs> oh. It was a steering lock. And yeah, is he the T2? Is he the bad Terminator? T2. Hey, you got it. Look at that, huh? That wasn't in there. What do you mean it wasn't in there? It's underneath the floor, man. Bullshit, That's man. You man. can't Come do on. that. <gasps> hey, put it down! What? Put it down, Chico! Chico, bitch! Oh! <gasps> oh my god. What a mess. He jumped! It's my shadow light down there. What? It's all like too much stuff is happening. He just hit the water and he went down. The radiation I went hard, I went to the We're only like four minutes in. <laughs> Far out. I like this movie. A lot, I think. Already. Oh, man. Did you tell Lenny about the accident? Chasing us, Peter. Sheriff was chasing the speeder. <laughs> I don't know his name, but he's Truman's best friend on the Truman Show. I forget his name. Oh. And he doesn't look unlike Michael Rappaport. They're very similar looking. And a cop suicide. Harbor <laughs> Patrol continues searching the Hudson River for the body of officer. <sighs> when you didn't see him jump. Okay, now, wait a minute. I'm going to object because we went through this. Now, he's been up all night. <laughs> Mwah. He's just the best. He's the goat. You all do respect, Lieutenant, but I think... If you don't mind my French, all right? You be quiet. You want to save your ass? So do yourself a favor and stop f***ing around. He's the best. I've never seen him with that whole, that look, that hairdo, that... I do a, uh, I do a De Niro impression. Maybe I'll do it for you at the end of this. <laughs> it's not great, but it's all I got. <laughs> Get down. It's Freddy's new girl. Cover yourself. You on the job? No, we're coming from Forest Hills, honey. I'm John McEnroe. That's Jimmy Connors. You're new, right? Yes, I'm new here, but I'm not new on the job. I was a uh, principal deputy in Elmira. Freddy! He didn't jump! Well, listen, take care, guys. See you later. Hey, what happened to you, Freddy? <laughs> this fender vendors. He didn't jump. So they're they're faking his death and pretend. Oh! Why would you stick your head up like that? Rappaport's an idiot. The character. Why? Why would you pop your head up like that? So I guess they're helping him. Like the, his, they want to fake his death because he's going to be in trouble for killing those guys. The guys in the red car that did not try and shoot him, and it'll be like a race thing. Which it, yeah was you know what's crazy is i thought it was a gun too for a second when, when it was happening i didn't even look at it clearly and you know to notice that it was a steering lock sorry to hear about your nephew yeah he was a good kid we were up all night with him 
Oh, here was my classmate at the academy. Back in the day. Before he fell in love with this redhead at IA and transferred. So how it went right? <laughs> so what brings you to our fair city? Checking up on us? I heard it was a way of life out here. Thought I'd check it out for myself. What are we, uh, like the Amish now? Ugh. See you around. He's just so interesting to watch. Um, but Sylvester Stallone saw Rappaport Superboy in the back seat. So, I mean, and if he hadn't have stuck his head up, no, I mean, maybe there'd be nothing to even look into. They would have all got away with it. But of course, he's going to dig into that, I'm sure. How long have you been a sheriff? 10 years. See, there's a lot of city cops here. A lot of cops. Great gig. Mm-hmm. Right, let me give you my card. It's a special unit in the city. If you ever want to talk about anything, it's all confidential. Mm -hmm. Tell him what you saw. She's gonna be so happy. Her daddy won it for at the fair last year, and I left it on top of the I know, car. I saw it from my window. What happened to your nose? Who's that? Oh, a little accident. I was just chasing a speeder. Do I know her? Is her husband dead, and he loves her? Is that them? Just one of them. The rest are mine. I don't tell Joey, because then he thinks he's got to deal with it. I'll take care of it. It's okay. He's got the city to worry about, right? Oh, no, he's not dead. <laughs> he's one of them. He's one of the cops. But I didn't recognize him in that picture. What's the point of the black garbage bag? Well, it's just that I found your phone bill in the black garbage bag down the street. So what if I said I didn't know? Ah! Is uh, Ray home? No, he's taking care of our little visitor. I love her. Tell Joey Randone if he does not like my garbage, well, then he should stop soiling my sheet. You gonna tell Ray about this? So the husband's sleeping with her, cheating on the nice little one that he likes. But that's Kathy Moriarty! And I wonder if she has scenes with De Niro because it's Raging Bull. Sorry to give me that ticket? No, somebody's been dumping garbage. A felony. That's his house? Moriarty is, is Kaitel's wife? This cast. <laughs> Is that flashback meant to be a young Stallone? If you want me to, I'll talk to him. Yeah. Diagonal rule. Red light, don't fight, you make a right. Superboy knew that, he'd still be alive, Freddy. Freddy, I heard you saved Ollie the turtle today. That's him in the picture. I had 12 points. Against the five-time NBA champs, what kind of bet is that? You know, you night guys, you watch way too much Oprah when you should be catching your Z's. Uh -huh. Don't like that PD. How's that make you feel, Freddy? I don't care. He loves his wife. You saved this girl's life, right? From it, from risking yourself, from saving her sorry ass, you go deaf as a result. I wonder. This girl you saved, this, this beauty queen happened. marries this... And you with your ear, you can't even get a desk on the force. <sighs> Cleanse yourself. Cleansing. Ugh, and that's the husband that he's got to contend with. What do you want? You want to toss me? What? You, you, you can't. Sit you... down, Gary. No, well, tell me what's going on. Just... They're just trying to get a scapegoat. At least I'm not Shaq with no Rican. You're supposed to, Gary, not open up a methadone clinic. <laughs> oh! Hey! You got a problem with me helping a girl in trouble? Huh? You got a problem with that? No, you Huh? Made a that was my partner. That was a cop. Enough. Let go of him, Figsy. Jack's a brat, though, and a stirrer and super corrupt. You got us the low interest, and I'm grateful. But don't forget who it was that you came to two years ago to cover your ass. Get him out of here, Freddy. Why did you go up the street? Get in the bathroom, Rosie. Oh, she knows. Your Uncle Freddy is here to rescue you again. Oh, that was super aggressive. He forgot it. Oh, horrible relationship. Flashbacks. He was, what, just underwater too long and it, like, burst his eardrum? Pretty good casting as a young Stallone. Oh. I know you gotta have.
have perfect vision to be a pilot. Do you have to have perfect hearing to be a cop? Why can't you be a little deaf in one ear? His girlfriend was in the basement. Where's Figs? I called him at the precinct. He's on his way. What? Oh my God, Ray and, and these guys, did, Ray and, and the guys did this. Oh my God. Oh. Oh, 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 she's gonna die. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> I'm not on till Tuesday. I'll call and buy you a couple of weeks. Oh. Come across the tombstone of Officer Glenn Tunney, another hero cop. Murray Babbage is his name, dubbed Superboy. Unwilling to trust the system, jumps from the George Washington Bridge. And that Glenn guy would be the guy in the picture, Figs' old partner. Vincent, it's in the sound. <laughs> the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face uh, shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Does, does Ray know that he's the jo uh, Joey sleeping with his wife? That there is Manny Cardoza and his brother. They're drug runners. I don't know they allowed classical music in Jersey. All blue, everybody packing, all together, one door down from the next, the wives borrowing the sugar. <laughs> like you're the sheriff of Copland. <laughs> he hasn't said a word that he saw Rappaport in the back of the car. Did he recognize it was Rappaport? He did. You know, you raise your family somewhere decent. I guess that's a crime now. Maybe Stalin didn't recognize who it was. Who, Ray? Yeah, he was a beauty. A real collar man. It's definitely summer. Everybody is so hot and sweaty. Being a man who always pined to be a cop. I am a cop. Pined to be NYPD. Three, four saps in 10 years. Appeals of hearing tests. Aww. You may be law enforcement, and so am I, but. You're, you're not, not a cop. cop. You must gather evidence. Because evidence makes us see the truth. Look at this, Raging Bull versus Rocky. That Babbage isn't dead. You know that, and I know that. Ray got him off that bridge alive before he could talk. But he wasn't so lucky the last time when the shit hit the fan with Tunney. That boy he took care of later. But now what? What does Ray do now? That's the $64,000 oh, question. He knows. you a man who's waiting for something to do. Here I am saying, Sheriff, I got something for you to do. How many people you got at this party? The whole three seven? The mayor's gonna suspend this case. They gotta find a body in that river, or it will not hold. It's my sister-in-law's kid. Didn't you say he was adopted? <laughs> I told you, Gregory. I told him he's wrong about you. I'm supposed to know what's going on. Wrong. I don't think so much. So he knows that he's not dead. He knows they're all corrupt. And he just kind of like protects them but not not like he's in on it just that it's the easier I don't know path of less resistance with this whole crew <laughs> he's literally at the party I want you to have this he is at the party with everyone knowing that he's not dead He's loved her since then, like since he saved her as a kid. Oh. Oh. I can't believe he's walking around the whole party. So every cop knows that he's not dead. They're gonna try and kill you. They're gonna, they're gonna kill you. His own uncle's gonna come. Race outside waiting for you. You coming or what? Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Did he read it? I was getting chocolate. I always said to my mom, Uncle Ray doesn't like me, but. I always liked you, Murray. 
He's gonna drown you in the pool. I'm gonna go meet some people. How does this work? Oh my God. Oh my God. Adopted or not, or sister-in-law or not, it's his nephew. Oh my God. Oh, he has PDA was gonna set him up with a new life. You think I'm all that, Joey? Oh, well, Joey didn't know. Oh, so they don't all know that he's prepared to just kill his nephew. These two, though. Is Joey gonna do something redeeming? Case is closed. Finished. Over. Go to lunch. I, uh... <laughs> I'm on a 10. I'm out of here. We all are. We got another hour. I know Joey from something, too, but I can't place it. He looks super familiar. You should be looking at that fire, you know? Where were you that night, Jack? That would be retribution. And that I leave to God Almighty. I'm Gandhi. What you feeling right now, Freddy? Friendless, angry, nervous, misunderstood. This is the life. You're lucky your ear kept you off the force. Hmm. So Liz saved him. And that's the best thing I ever did with my life. So you want to sit around your whole life wishing you were on the force? Or you want to bring the fucker in? Let him spill. I wouldn't know where to begin. Hmm. They got lives, Freddy. Families. No. You move diagonal. Get Jag. Big bastard, he cut me up. I need your location. Tell me you quit. Let you go. Wait, is this just complete coincidence on the job? Something that's happening to him, or is this a Ray thing to try and get him? All right, I'll check the front. Oh my god. No. They are gonna let him die, I think, because they know he knows. If they didn't set it up in the first place. No! Oh my gosh! Harvey Keitel! Let's just trying to kill me. Who? Who? My friends tried to kill me. Ray Donlin tried to kill me. Shit. Shit. Get him, get him, get him, because you're safe with them. Stay with Figs and, uh, and Freddy. If you want someone dead, they're dead anywhere. Oh, I mean, he was horrible husband, but that's still sad. But now, I guess Freddy and Liz will be together? Figs was in there doing blow. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life. <sighs> I wouldn't be surprised if the little girl playing her daughter is her daughter. They looked so similar <laughs> just then in that shot. He's convinced you're gonna kill him. I mean, there's gotta be a way out of this for everyone. So I say, why don't we all go in tomorrow together? Ready. Uh, <laughs> you're right. And you come to me with a plan to set things right. Everyone in the city holding hands, singing, we are the world. I don't like what I see anymore. Who the f do you think you are? So you're going to find De Niro, who shut up that office, right? And said, case closed, go home. No, he's running through the woods. He's like a scared animal. He's scared You know what that oh, Shouldn't indeed. be scared. His uncle got this case closed with one phone call. Oh. That's why the aggression on the case closed. You came to me, to my town, with all these speeches, and you were talking to me about doing the right thing, and I'm doing the right thing. What, what's going on? What are you doing? That was like two weeks ago. <laughs> that was yesterday, bro. I offered you a chance when we could have done something. I offered you a chance to be a cop, and you blew it! Come on, Sly. Go and cop it up. Bro. Yourself now. He put on a fancy suit and everything that comes makes to Makes we got a case again. Nice, nice. The mob runs means and drugs as a precinct. 
And everybody gets a nice house. Figs is right. The mob owns this town. You don't have anything either. All that stuff is illegal. You stole it. Mm hmm. I know this guy. Which one was he? Oh, because he was a guard on that cell where he, where Glenn died, and he'll be friends with. He's a correction officer. He killed Glenn. Tully. They took care of Tony when he was going to talk, and they burned down Fixie's house when they think he might talk. You don't know that. We went over every inch of that house. Not everything is a hexagonal conspiracy. This is the. I'm going back upstate. I want my old job back. Look, I don't know about Ray, okay, but everyone in Garrison is not a murderer. Mm-hmm. The rules are different for cops. Right, so what do I got to do? Five out of six in the star. Five out of six. Oh, Jack. You got to hit the next five to win. Ha-ha. <laughs> Wait, that one gave you this job, Freddy. You could tell us where Superboy is. You're gonna be hurting. You mock my words. I'm watching you. He's because he's not in there with them, right? I mean, unless he's back now, but. You got your check. Yep. Thanks to you, Freddy. For filing out those forms in such a timely fashion. <laughs> my leave came, so I thought I'd look around for a new reality, you know? Anyway, I'm sure you could use your uh -oh. privacy, Freddy. It's burnt. He did it himself? Oh, my God. And his girlfriend died. He didn't know she was in there. He didn't know she was going to go. That's why he pulled up to the fire so relaxed, just smoking a cigarette. Oh, my God, he did the fire himself. Oh, my God, he did the fire himself. Ah. Uh. But I, 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 he didn't know she was going to go there. You know, I did think that when he pulled up, he was just very, like, sort of blasé at the, at the site. And then when he saw her, he threw the cigarette down and ran. But, oh, my God. That's all you want, Freddy. You're not going to find anything. That lady cop from the bomb squad got you the stuff to do this with, didn't you? Edie Falco. You didn't know Monica was going to be here, did you, Fix? Thing was on a timer. I didn't know she was going to be here, Freddy. It's all bullshit. He's you robbed with the bullshit! In his own way. I'm going to find Superboy and I'm going to bring him in. And for once, everybody in this town's going to tell the truth. I got a check in my pocket for $200,000. I got a chance to start my life again. I don't give a shit. <sighs> Run away! Is Rappaport still just hiding in the bushes? Where is he? Why the hell would I tell you if I did? Rose, I'm his only chance. Harvey Keitel, Ray, called Rappaport his nephew because it's his sister-in-law's kid. So maybe it's Kathy Moriarty's sister's kid. And that's why it feels more like her nephew than, than Ray's. If that makes sense. Was he in the water tank? Just like hiding out? Yes! Oh! Let's go. And is Fig still doing drugs? Like, is that what's going on? With this sweaty skin and bloodshot eyes the whole time? Who is he supposed to call? Ray knows everybody. Well, what am I supposed to do? Let him go in alone? You know what? Okay, fine. And this is how Glenn died in the cell. Lisa's nervous, you know? I mean, she's pregnant. I mean... So go on, I'll be fine. That's how scared they are of Ray and those guys. He thinks he might die if he stays. Oh, shit. Get out! Oh, Jack, 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 get out! Get out, buddy! Oh, Jesus. You guys don't want to do this. Jack. Jack! It's a good one, right? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Move, move, move. 
That's horrible. Hit it, Jack. Hit it. Oh my God. Shoot a round off like that right in front of his ear, his good ear, send him, I mean, that was, that was dark. Send him deaf. Oh, I feel so sorry for him. His whole life of like sacrifice and trying to do good and he wanted to be a cop and he never could and he saved Liz and she married an asshole and oh. He can't hear anything. Oh! Do it. Do it, do it. Oh my god. Oh! He's not messing around. <gasps> Ray, no, oh, no. Yeah, figs. No, no, please don't kill Ray Liotta. Please don't kill figs. Please, 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 please. I like that because of Sylvester Stallone's hearing and the gunshot, we are not getting any dialogue. We're getting nothing but like distorted bangs and the, the gunshot bangs. I mean, it's, it's great. Just that like heartbeat tone. That was close. I mean, it's what I wanted, but I thought for a second Sylvester Stallone was going to get shot. No one's helping him. He did get shot in the shoulder. Into the neck. Yeah. He's just cleaned up, killed everyone. He can't hear. Ruben, take him. Permanently? Oh my god. Come on inside. He can trust Bob. Come on. Saw him the other day in New York City. The Gary Figures cop <sighs> gave up the connection between Ray, the PDA, and the mob. No one is above the law. The bar twist, Murray, Superboy, yeah, Babbage, sits alive and well in a holding shelter. He will be recovering the hearing in his good ear, so that's very good news. Yay! Identified corrections officer was arrested today for the murder three years ago of Officer oh, Glenn Tunney. That's the blonde guy from the picture. Where's Liz? Got a jackknife truck up on Route 5. You okay? Yeah. How can you be a sheriff and not a cop, though, the hearing thing? I want to look into that. Or someone... Here, tell me. Really? You have one bad ear and you can't be a cop? It's probably true. Oh no, Liz wrap up? No him and Liz together? Or do we just assume and hope? I guess her husband just died like a couple months before, but they love each other. That was great. I really enjoyed that. I can't believe I'd never seen it before. That's, it's bizarre. For me, who my favorite film is, you know, one of my favorite films ever is Goodfellas. To have De Niro and, you know, Ray, Leota, and everybody in this, I mean, it's just, yeah, I can't believe this one slipped me by. Thank you so much to everybody out there that wrote on the Rocky videos I did on Popcorn Roulette to watch Codland because that was awesome. I really, really enjoyed that, and uh, I probably will watch it again at some point. It was awesome, a lot of fun, incredible cast, and uh, I'm on a high. That was, that was a ride, that was fun. So thank you everybody out there, I'll see you next time. My name's Kobe and I'll see you on Criminal Content. Bye.